Hey, what's up guys? Got another unboxing slash showcase dealio for you guys today. And I figured today I would show you one of my favorite series from HBO from 2003, I think, is when it started. Um, and that show is, of course, The Wire. Recently released, well, released this year on uh, Blu-ray for the first time. Um, I have the DVD case, I'll show you that in a second. So hold on. We'll start with the Blu-ray first. This just came out on, I think it was June, June or July. It came out on Blu-ray, and uh, it was a while before. And it was actually a little bit of controversy surrounding it because um, the show originally was shot in um, uh, the full frame from the you know the tube TVs, and then for this uh, HD re-release, it was released in um, uh, widescreen. Because apparently a lot of the, uh, um, what I'm trying to say, it was originally shot in a, in a widescreen, kind of like the the most recent edition or the uh, the, the uh, a box set that came out just a year ago, actually. Uh, the X Files set was shot initially in um, widescreen, but then it was only obviously at the time shot uh, shown in full frame. I'm mouthing my words really poorly here. I'm sorry, guys. But I, I'm just saying that it was there was a controversy surrounding this release because of that. There are a lot of people who are diehard, you know, enthusiasts and shit, and they were like, you know, it should be in the original aspect. And I think it looks great. I love widescreen. Um, I prefer it in widescreen, even when it's not necessarily supposed to be in widescreen, because I, it just looks weird to me to have the bars on the sides. That's a personal preference, though, so obviously some people don't appreciate that. It would have been nice if they had offered some sort of, like, alternate, like, viewing. Like, you could watch it in its original viewing if you wanted. But that would have probably cost even more money and required more work. But, so, we just got the, the HD um, widescreen version, which is good enough for me. So, anyway, whatever, right? What do you care? <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the wire set. I got this for, I think it was $99. It's been around that or even less uh, recently, just, um... Just this last month, I think it was on sale for a Best Buy deal a day, or maybe it was Amazon. I forget. But it was like 60 bucks. so I hope if you're interested in the show, you picked it up. But anyway, this is how HBO has been doing their uh, box sets recently. If you saw my um, Soprano set that I did an unboxing of or a showcase of a few months ago, you'll notice it's almost exactly the same thing. It's got the exact same design on the inside. Just a slip cover. And then it's a hard uh, cardboard casing. It's already got scuffs in the bottom. Just from putting it on the shelf. That's lame. And then we have just individual uh, deep uh, Blu ray case uh, releases, I guess. Which I'm actually more of a fan of this than I thought I would be. I originally liked the cool fold out sets, like the original Deadwood, my Sopranos DVD set. Uh, this kind of, this DVD set you'll see, up to the wire you'll see is a little bit different, but this is a bit more practical and future-proof, I guess. It's easier to get thing out, things out of these discs than those fold-out cases, like the Game of Thrones cases, which I'm surprised they're still going with that, that design um, for that anyway. But anyway, uh, this, like I said, this is a great show. It's about um, uh, inner-city drugs and uh, the police who are after them in Baltimore, Maryland, in the early 2000s through the mid-2000s. The entire series takes place. There are five seasons, and each season represents kind of a aspect of Baltimore uh, crime, in a, in a way. It's it's kind of hard to explain, I suppose, to some... But I love the show, and I, but I just can't always articulate why I love it. It's, it's, it, it's well-acted, it's well-written, um, it can be... And even for me, when I first started watching it back then, I thought it was boring at first. The first couple episodes did not grab me. But I stuck with it and eventually just really fell in love with the show. Fell in love with the characters, everything. So I recommend it if you have tried watching it and then got bored to give another shot because I thought it was really good. It's, it's well made. Um, so anyway, this is season one. This season takes place. It's the drug trade and the, the following the uh, drug... Uh, gangs, I suppose, or one specific gang group in uh, Baltimore. 
and uh, it's a, uh, it involves eventually getting a wiretap and listening to them, and it's really complicated and convoluted, actually. Well, I haven't convoluted. It's interesting how this works and how they have to abide by the law and follow uh, these young kids who are basically running drugs and stuff who grew up in this environment. And you get to know the cops, and even more importantly, which was really interesting, was getting to know the drug dealers and, and their lives and their families and their motives, and it was well done. I agree, just I believe it's a well, well done show. Very fascinating to me. Um, and like I said, well well written. I don't think it got a single award, or maybe, maybe for writing later on, but I don't think it, it, got, it was barely nominated or won anything. None of the actors are nominated for anything. So that part's kind of a little depressing, but um, it's it's a worthwhile show. And this is where Idris Elba, if you can, you can see him right there, that's where he got his start here in the States um, for being popular and shit. So anyway, how about we get to the goddamn things? Season 1... Um, Got four discs. Yep, thirteen episodes. And on the back here, it's got the uh, episode titles and stuff and little descriptions. That is season one. Season two, which is um, as you see, a new case begins. It got. It took. A, it went away from the street aspect for this season and went to the ports of Baltimore, and how that was in its own little entire like criminal organization with smuggling and. It was fascinating. A lot of people didn't like it because it really differed from the first season a lot. The only, I mean, characters that were in the season one were, are in this season, but there are a whole new batch of characters, and the season, characters were main characters, or people who were important in this season, aren't so much in this season, and they're not around as much. And It was off-putting, I think, for a lot of people, even for me when we first started watching it, but I, I grew to really love it. It's well done, again. And it's the same deal. Four discs, 12 episodes this time and the episode guide, um, commentaries and stuff. That's season two, that's Idris Elba again. Uh, season three goes back to the streets and a bit more of the turf wars that were going on uh, with the drugs and the uh, gangs controlling it. Uh, I think it's tw uh, 12, discs, 12 episodes again of four discs. I think they're all four discs. Um, really, every single season is good, but this was another standout. Season 4 was probably my favorite, just because it was such an interesting topic to talk about um, inner-city schools and how that affects uh, the youth and how they're getting kind of groomed to be in the drug trade and how uh, it just can be... It's, it's, an, it's, it's well done. Having young, new actors, too. like these, the, All these actors that are in the front here, they're like the main characters. And... It was believable. It was heart wrenching sometimes. It was it was really well done. I thought, um, and again, a lot of different characters in the next season. Just like season three had a bit more of the same ones from the first season, but there are even more characters than other gangs and stuff. And well done, I think. Same deal. Uh, Thirteen episodes this time. Uh, discs, disc, uh, not discs, uh, titles of the episodes. Pretty simple. I know the cases might be kind of annoying to people because it's really boring, I guess, but I think it's awesome. And then the final season, season five, this one takes place um, in the newspapers and how that drives the narrative of what's going on in the city and how it can be um, compelling and yet um, it's, it's, it's ripe for libelous things and it's interesting. There's only ten episodes in this season, but it's still on four discs. Um... Another good season. It wasn't as good as the other seasons, and I think it's of the five seasons the least. Um, uh, it's it's the it's the least compelling, I suppose. The final episode is pretty good, obviously, but uh, it's probably my least favorite. But it's still really good. I recommend seeing it. Anyway, that's that. Um, pretty cool. I like it a lot. I need to watch this actually. So many things I gotta fucking watch. Why am I even paying for cable? You might ask yourself. And I ask myself all the time. So that's the Blu-ray set. This came out this year, 2016. I got the DVD set. Probably around 2008. The show was three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, about 2008 or nine is when the DVD set was released. And I got it around then. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, 
an example of the different packaging. This is a lot more intricate. And they've actually changed the packaging since for the DVDs, but it's still pretty much the same. This is season one. It's got the discs uh, and these sleeves over here. I'll show you in a second. These are the, uh, the, um, the fuck am I trying to say? These are the discs, the five discs with episode guide and stuff on it. And each one has got a quote at the top, which is where this is the one of the more famous quotes of the show. It says, come with the king you best not miss from the famous Omar Little. Oh shit, I just hit the camera. What the fuck? This is amateur hour. Anyway. Um, disc one, which these... I don't like, since these are DVDs, they're a lot easier to scratch. I don't like these are coming these cardboard sleeves. So there's, there are a few, you can't tell on the camera necessarily, but there are a few scratches on here, which I haven't watched this in a while. Hopefully they still work. I hit the camera again. What the fuck is this? I should just turn this fucking off right now. Um, anyway, guys, let's put it back up or something so you can even see this. Um, fuck, this is, this is a disc five, I think. But just as you can see here, this is actually a lot more cumbersome to undo this because this is just kind of shitty actually now that I see it. I used to love this case, these uh, packaging, but now it's it's such a endeavor. And I'll do like one more, I'll do season three. You get the idea, you know. Another quote, don't matter how many times you get burnt, you just keep doing the same. So true, Bodhi. Five discs again. Disc one, disc two, uh, disc three is falling around in here. Look at this shit. See, look at this. Look at that. It's actually falling through. Look at that. It went all the way through. This is already broken. Is this even scratched? Yeah, it's scratched to hell. So, much as I liked it, this packaging is Garbanjo. HBO video. Disc four. Scratched. Every single one of these discs is scratched. <laughs> Which, I mean, what do you expect, right? Anyway. Anyway, anyway. That's it, guys. I'm gonna put this away now because you've already seen the one. And that's just the second one, so. That's all. I recommend the show. Um, the DVD set you can find for like 30 bucks online, I'm sure. And this goes for less than 90 these days. So, I recommend giving it a shot. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. <laughs> Watch The Wire. It's good. Anyway, bye.